Okay. Um, I'm Taylor. Um, you, may, you need my last name, too. I'm Taylor <laughs> Niwa. I'm a new media major. Um, I will be graduating this May. Okay. So what's new and cool with new media? <laughs> Any great generalities? I mean, like... Um, new media is interesting. Um, I'm, I like mixed media. Um, okay. Yeah, I can tell by your work. <laughs> your work is so fabulous. <laughs> oh, thanks. Um, I mean, you know, I was a little nervous at, at a certain point because I was like, well, I'm getting my hands into a lot of things, so that means I can do a lot of things, but I never really have gotten so in-depth into something, mm -hmm. except like painting and drawing, which was what I had um, originally done before coming into college. Um, but I find that a lot of ideas and a lot of skills um, overlap each other or like you can take what you learn by pursuing one media and then apply it to others. Um, maybe I'm a bit biased in saying this, but my personal idea is like, for me anyways, drawing has been the ballet of, um, you know, uh, different, going into different medias. For example, um, skills that I've learned through drawing um, translates uh, into photography when it comes to like understanding composition um, and so yeah right now I am doing a lot of different types of things um, I'm still trying to pinpoint what it is exactly that I'm most interested in but I'm starting to find out really that it's not so much the media that you work in but it's discovering what your own voice, your reflection, what you want to say, and the best way in which you can communicate that. Excellent. I totally agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me how you got a gig at a gallery. You uh, did something with the Rubin, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so pretty much um, I've been doing internships over the summer, not for school credit, but just because I wanted to keep uh, working. I just wanted experience. I, I just kind of throw myself into things, whatever seems to come along my way or any opportunity that I hear about, and I just yeah. like send out my resume or I'm just like, hey, you know, this is what I do, this is what I'm interested in, you know, if, you know, you want to work with me or like there's a space, that's awesome, I'd, I'd like to do it. Um, and so that's just pretty much what happened with the Ruben. Um, I forget exactly how I heard about the internship, maybe it was through purchase. Casting of the Divine was like a project that I really had my hands on. Um, and yeah, they wanted um, they wanted documentation of the fifth floor exhibition uh, because that was, uh, Casting the Divine was like the first time the, um, the owner of, of the all the pieces that were on display was the first time that they were all shown really together in one place for, um, and it was a long-term loan. So I guess one of the conditions of the long-term loan was that uh, they got a video of um, of like the exhibition that got sent to the artist mm -hmm. and then just recently I guess recently um, the video was then put live on uh, their YouTube site and got a lot more attention than uh, I knew about until randomly I remembered oh I did this and I went <laughs> to go check it out and like there's like 700 views which is a lot. Yeah, it's a <laughs> lot, you know, considering that I just kind of forgot about it. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's amazing what we establish and dig for ourselves, and then all of a sudden we go back and there's, like, hidden treasure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where we thought there was nothing there before. Yeah, I, I think what I tend to do is when I when I make something, I, I guess this is maybe an internal struggle for myself, but as a part of exploring um, my self-exploration is that I'll make something, but for me it's never finished, it's never polished, like, in a sense that, like, I can always do better, right? So then my personal thing is, like, I always kind of, like, push it off to the side. Uh, in my eyes, it's like, oh, it's not that great, you know, I don't need to, like, publicize it out to everyone. But I'm yeah. starting to learn that, you know, it's always going to be a journey of if you can do better or if you look back at your work and you say, oh, you know, this could have been fixed or this could have been fixed or this could have been better, that means you had grown. And... Um, it's okay to feel like that and really it's okay to just be like this is what I do and you know not everyone's gonna love it and um, people who do like it you know that's awesome then you run with that so I totally agree with that <laughs> where did you learn that because that's my philosophy too <laughs> oh um, well uh, actually I just had this conversation with my dad uh, he's uh, a fine artist as well he um, studied in Japan a long time ago um, when he was doing like some fashion design and he's um, 
like a, a fantastic drawer and it, we were just talking about like the the process the artistic process and I guess like he got that also from his family as well because my great-grandfather was a kimono painter my grandfather calligraphy my dad does drawing and it kind of has like trickled down a bit wow lineage yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's awesome well thank you so much this has been an awesome interview yeah, no problem <laughs>